Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Happy Friday, uh, December 7th, uh, going into a weekend of hopefully some safe fun, some safe uh, pleasure, uh, some downtime for you guys. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about how to avoid storing fat on the weekends, right? How to avoid storing fat when you go to an event. How to avoid storing fat when you have an anniversary or a party or something of that nature. So I'm going to I'm going to talk Hey Matthew, I'm going to talk to you guys. I'm going to I'm going to outline a typical scenario that most of you uh can and will relate to. All right, so um you spend the week um doing your activities. Uh for most of you it's going to be uh a normal uh structure, a normal uh schedule. Uh, whether you work out or not, it's a normal schedule. Maybe you go to the gym Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Maybe you don't. Uh, maybe you have a lunchtime meeting or date uh, on Tuesdays or a, a uh, team meeting on Wednesdays. Uh, most of us have some structure to our week uh, that does not change uh, dramatically. Um, however, on the weekends, our bodies are usually forced uh, into a scenario that is different than the week. That is different than the regular schedule during the week. So what happens is you typically, most people, will gain some level of body fat every weekend, every anniversary, every guy's trip, every girl's trip. And this is why. Um, our bodies have a capacity, and I'll, I'll keep talking about this stuff, guys, because um, Burning body fat, storing body fat is a simple equation. Our bodies work as they are supposed to work. Our bodies work in predictable manners. We just choose, for the most part, uh, to ignore the science, to ignore evolution, to ignore uh, what our bodies are meant to and designed to do. It's really phenomenal, but we don't choose to listen or accept or, or understand or even uh, want to deal with uh, the reality of it. So... Typically what happens is most of us have, uh, well, all of us have a capacity to store uh, energy, right? When we eat uh, carbs, carbs is our body's main fuel source for most people. Our body can run on two different fuel sources. It can run on glucose or ketones. Ketones is when your body has already burned body fat or you drink it exogenously like I do. But for the most part, most people's main fuel source is glucose, is, is glucose. And so... Uh, our bodies run on glucose. When we don't have available glucose, our body will tap into fat stores. That's not the case for most people. The reverse is the case for most people. When our bodies are not using the glucose we give it, so you eat a sandwich, you eat a bagel, you eat cereal, you eat whatever it is. When you eat glucose, your body breaks down glucose, carbs, into uh, carbs into glucose in your bloodstream. If your body is not using that glucose immediately, if you're not running a marathon, if you're not working out, if you're not doing something that requires the use of those glucose units, your body reacts to it. If it's a large amount of glucose at one time, a high sugary meal, your body reacts very, very uh, strongly to that by releasing insulin. Okay, I know this is a bit scientific, but it's going to make sense. So when our bodies are not using the glucose, we give it uh, that our body breaks down from carbohydrates, our body will store that glucose as glycogen in our muscle and our livers. Okay, guys have more storage capacity, we have more muscle. Either, either case, when we fill up on glucose and are not using it, and our capacity to store temporarily this glucose is full, our body has no recourse other than to begin fat stores to begin either storing fat or storing the glucose as fat in, in already created fat cells or creating new fat cells. So every weekend when you when you have fun, when you enjoy yourself, when you take in more glucose at a point in time, an hour, a day, a weekend, more than your body's using and or can store, it must store it as body fat. Right? It must do it. This is how our bodies are designed. Our bodies are designed to store fuel for later use. Right? Where's it going to go? I mean, you, 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 if you eat pizza and then you eat pretzels and, and, and bread 
and you're not using that fuel, where do you think it's going to go? It has to store it somewhere. It's not using it. You can't, you can't uh, get rid of it in your stool fast enough or your, or your urine fast enough in the case of liquids. So your body has to store it as, as long-term storage. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Troy. What's up, Maurice? Um, so your body has to store it as, as body fat. So the problem we have is even if we are doing some things correctly, Right? We're watching what we eat during the week. We're, we're working out during the week. You know, if we, if we, Even if we are able at times to put our body into a state of, of glycogen deprivation, forcing our body to convert body fat into energy, there comes a period of time when if you go into the weekend and you ask, say you're at zero, if you fill up on glucose and glycogen on Friday night and then you turn around and get up in the morning and don't work out and go have breakfast and then have lunch, and then have dinner, and that's, that's only Saturday, and then Sunday, you get the point, right? You're, 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 fill, you're, you're filling up with this metaphorical car, and you're not going anywhere. You keep putting more and more gas in your, in your vehicle, that is your, your body, and you're not burning it off. So eventually, whatever your capacity to store glucose is, your body will run out of, of areas to store it. The liver fills up, your muscles fill up. So your body begins almost immediate uh, fat storage. Now, that, is, that sounds unfair, and, and very many people tell me it's unfair. That's the reality of how our bodies are designed to work. You see, our bodies weren't meant to have this much consumption at one time, like we do. Our bodies were never meant, were not, did not evolve on eating in an 18-hour window. Our bodies are designed to eat in the reverse of that, in really a, a 7- or 8-hour window. right? If you think about it, our ancestors had to get up you know, when the sun came up, had to go find or hunt food. So they didn't eat anything until 10, 11, 12 in the morning or early afternoon. And then they had to stop eating right when the sun went down. And they couldn't store food, right? So, so they hunt and gather what they could eat at that sitting. And there was no going back to the refrigerator or going back to the microwave or going down to the drive through at the, at, at the McDonald's or, or, the, or whatever it is. There was none of that. So our bodies were evolved on long periods of, of just having enough, if that, of energy and fuel to fill our body. And then in times when we, when we did have the, the ability to eat more than we had to, our bodies and our brains knew that... Sh in, in, in a short period or, or, or eventually there would be a time of famine. So our bodies have been conditioned and trained to store that energy for later use. And inevitably, thousands of years ago, there was a time, a period of time when you would go a day or two or three days without any food available to you. At that point in time, our bodies would then tap into fat storage and release that for energy and fuel. Our bodies can go days without eating, right? Water, no. Air, obviously no. Food, we can go days without food. Right, because our bodies are designed to release body fat for energy. So now we live in, in, in a, an advanced technology era, era you know, with, with industrialization, with modernization, with technology. The, the, the risk of famine for most parts of the world, especially here in America, is not existent. So we never are faced with periods of time where we can't or won't eat, right? And we regularly fill up with more fuel than we need, and we regularly don't use that fuel, right? So, so we, all those things combined make for a, a, a scenario that creates obesity, that creates unhealthy living, that creates body fat, that creates horrible body composition. So when, even when we, when, when we eat and exercise during the week and keep our, 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 our bodies from gaining body fat, if we go into a, a two, two and a half day period where movement is less, right? You're not going to work, you're, you're, you're at home, or you're going to a party or a dinner where you're sitting, you're not moving as much, and you are filling up and fueling much more than you did Monday through Friday, probably. And so those, those, those scenarios, those, uh, the aggregate of those things make for a scenario that makes your body store body fat. So that happens just about every weekend for many, many people. Right? And when you do that over every weekend, over a year, over a decade, that's how you turn around and, and look back and now you've gained 20 pounds. Because we rarely, rarely if ever, right, burn body fat, and then we regularly put our body in position to gain body fat. Right? And then what happens for people who actually are, are trying to do right, and it's not our fault, I mean, we don't really know 
oftentimes what we're doing. We're not told um, the, the right approach. We're not given the facts often enough to understand. And when we are, we don't really want to listen. So it's not really our fault completely, but, but understanding is important. So even if we're trying to do well during the week and, and, and we're not gaining body fat, if we don't make effort and have the right mindset going into the weekend, gaining body fat is almost inev inevitable. Okay, and then and then what happens is we come back, and I hear it all the time as a coach, as a, as an instructor, uh, people will go away. What's up, Marcus? And then they'll come back to me on Monday saying I had a long weekend. I want to burn off this this food that I ate at, at at my at my bachelor party or at at my anniversary or my birthday weekend. They'll come back to me having gained weight, right, and want me to help them lose weight. So I can do that. I can help you lose weight. Unfortunately, it's going to be water and glycogen, water and glucose and stored glycogen, right? So you come back, you've gained three pounds over the weekend, you come back, I help you lose two of them, you feel better, but what you fail to understand and realize is that if at any point in time over the weekend, you put your body in a state where it could not store extra glycogen, right? Your, 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 your muscles filled up. Uh, with glycogen, your liver filled up with glycogen, you weren't using any of the available glycogen uh, via exercise, so now your body was forced to store that extra fuel as long-term energy, right, as fat storage. So now you come back, we can work out, we can train, we can do whatever we have to do to get rid of some of that, but what we get off, at least in the very short term, on Monday and Tuesday, is going to be water that was stored and glycogen. So you will feel better, but unfortunately, that fat storage that took place is on your body, maybe forever, right? And I tell people all the time, it's like that might be to the casket. So we, we have to understand how that process happens, right? And the first step is mindset, right? The first step is understanding that, that we are choosing to have fun. We are choosing to have a drink or a pizza or not to work out, or not to get up in the morning on Saturday and, and go for a boot camp or go for a run or whatever. We're choosing that over getting better. We're choosing that over keeping body fat off our body. And that's all it is, right? People tell me all the time, I enjoy food too much. We all enjoy food. You're the only, you're the only person that enjoys food. Like the, Everybody that I know enjoys to eat. Right, the ones who are fit, all your friends who are fit, they understand that, yes, I enjoy eating, but I enjoy feeling good about my body a little bit more most of the week. Right, I enjoy being able to fit my clothes and not pull my shirt out every few minutes more than I enjoy having a hamburger and fries and sit on a couch every, you know, for four or five hours. Right, we all enjoy sitting down and watching television. We all enjoy eating a nice meal and putting our feet up and having ice cream. All of us, all of us, all of us enjoy that. We ain't the only one who enjoys that. But the difference is, some of us understand that the body works a certain way. And the body was not designed to enjoy every single moment. We are the only animal that does that. We are the only animal that has to enjoy every moment of every waking day. Right? We're not meant to do that. No animal in the animal kingdom is meant to enjoy every moment. We're the only one that eats for pleasure. No animal in the animal kingdom besides human beings eats for pleasure. And only us, we only do it recently. In the last 200 years maybe, have we begun doing that. So part of the mindset is understanding that we have to first switch how we think about stuff and be very vigilant in our, in our attitude about food, about leisure, about working out. It's not punishment to work out. It's not punishment to not indulge in eating to your full all the time. It's how the body is designed to work. It's how you as a strong human being are meant to work. Your body's built to be strong and functional and do great things. We have only begun to be lazy about it. We're like a tiger or a lion that's been taken from the jungle who's meant to hunt and attack and be strong and put in the zoo and give him food every day. Now he's lazy or she's lazy. Right? That lion or tiger is not meant to be like that. Just like you and I are not meant to be obese and lazy and weak and tired and all these and depressed and all these things. So when you go into a weekend, if your mindset is, I need to feel better about the five days that I had at work 
or the five days I had with these damn kids or the five days I had with my damn husband or my wife or my friend, whatever it is. If your mindset is to go into the weekend to off, to offset that and just have fun and enjoy yourself, then you shouldn't be surprised that when after a year you don't look the way you want to look or feel the way you want to look. That shouldn't be surprising. So if you understand what I talked about before about how the body works and you understand that that you have to take measures to make sure you don't put your body into a state where it has to store body fat. It has to, right? And if you don't understand and appreciate and and are sensitive to the fact that if you gain body fat, you might ever get it off, might never get it off, then you can't win this battle, okay? So, so if you understand how it works, then you can take measures. You can take steps to prevent fat storage, right? So what do I do? Like, what do you do, Coach Bobby, to prevent fat storage? And anybody who knows me, people who are on here who know me, my kids play sports. I go to the games. They see me eating candy. They see me at ball games eating hot dogs and hamburgers. People have seen me uh, in restaurants, whatever it is. People have seen me eating, right? So I eat fun stuff. I eat hamburgers and pizza and all those good things. Ice cream, cookies. It's the holidays. My neighbor brought over some of those butter cookies, which I love. I had a whole sleeve of them uh, the other night. Uh, so, but I know, I know going into certain scenarios like a weekend, what's going to happen. So my range, my weight range, which is dictated by your, your, your muscle size, like your range of, of capacity of glycogen and water you can store, which is your margin of error, is dictated by your muscles for the most part. Your body will store... Uh, any excess glycogen or glucose as glycogen in your liver and muscles. Our livers are, are, are pretty much the same size. They expand and contract a little bit, but for the most part, they're not much different between men and women, big guys, small guys, big women, small women. The big delta is our muscle size. So when you have more muscle, your body can store more glycogen. That gives you more margin of error before your body begins to store body fat. So my margin of error, believe it or not, and people who know me, believe it because I tell them, is between 172, around 172 uh, pounds up to about 180 pounds or 181, right? That's my range. So so if I'm within that range, I'm not burning or, or uh, storing body fat. Simple as that. So if I'm going to go somewhere for a weekend to a football game, to my son's basketball games, to a dinner, if it's an anniversary, if it's a party, whatever it is. If I know that, which I normally try to go into a weekend, at least assuming I'm going to enjoy myself a little bit, I make sure that my Friday is spent working out, that my Saturday morning is spent working out, that my latter part of the week is spent with a decreased amount of glu glucose intake into my body. Not necessarily nothing, but I decrease it to get my, my G tank, I call it, my glycogen and glucose aggregate in my body, I want to get that as low as possible before I go into the weekend, right? Then I can spend the weekend enjoying myself a little bit. Now, the trick is, if you don't train hard enough, if you don't have enough muscles to really have a large capacity to store, because again, if your capacity to store is not very much, then even if you worked your butt off, you can only store so much glycogen. So if you aren't, aren't lifting enough weights and building enough muscles because you want to use the small little pink weights and don't want to push yourself, then your ability to store glycogen is minimized. <clears throat> so now when we go out, if I've emptied out my, my G tank and you've emptied out your G tank, I could have two hamburgers and fries and not worry about it. You can't probably because if you do that, now all of a sudden your G tank is full. We're sitting down at the restaurant, we're eating hamburgers and fries, we fill up our glycogen tank a little bit, our G tank, because we're not moving, we're not using the, 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 the glucose that, that's been sent to us or given to us, broken down from the hamburger and the fries. We're not using it, so it gets stored in our muscle and our liver. So my cabinet space for storing the glycogen is large, right? The two hamburgers and the fries might have took me halfway to my, to my, to my capacity. That probably took you to your to your capacity. So now the next day, your body is is running on full. Right? So anything you eat next that your body's not gonna use and can't store will begin to be stored as body fat almost immediately. So now it's Saturday. We had dinner Friday night. Now it's Saturday. You don't want to go work out. 
right? I, I want to go work out. I'll, I'll bring mine down even further. But let's say you want to sleep in. <clears throat> now it's Saturday. Your body's going to burn through some of that just from living, from your metabolism. But with no muscle, your metabolism is probably too low to burn any significant amount of glycogen from your body. So now you're going into Saturday with two more days left into Saturday with your, with your levels, your G-Tank levels already high. And now you want to have breakfast and then go to lunch and maybe go to dinner and then watch TV and eat some ice cream. So all these things you do are adding glycogen, even if it's healthy glucose, even if it's whole grain bread, whole grain bagels, whatever it is, even the healthy glycogen is still glycogen. Right, your body can only store or use it. If it's not using it, it has to store it. If it can't store it, it must long-term store it as body fat. Right, so now you're you're stuck. Now you've gained a pound or pound pound and a half, whatever it is, over the weekend. Some of that is is beginning to be stored as body fat in your body, and then you come back to me on Monday or to, or to whatever you go Orange Theory. Gold's Gym, with Planet Fitness, your personal trainer, whatever. You go for a run. You come back Monday, right, burning off the weekend. You might burn off some of the water and glycogen that's currently being stored still. But the, but, but the overflow, right, the, the, the amount that your body had to store in long-term storage can't be gotten to or can't be oxidized and used and converted until you've emptied out your levels in your body of glycogen which for some people will never, ever happen, right? So that's how I prevent fat storage. I don't go into the weekend on full, right? I know, and I've, I've strategized my whole week from Monday to Sunday, right? So typically, I will have some enjoyment over the weekend at a football game, at the movies, with my wife and kids and making cookies. And we have, I mean, we, have, we have hamburger night on Sundays, watching the Cowboys game, we have cookies. We bake cookies most Sundays. Um, we we have, we go out to the movies. We go to uh, my son's basketball games. I have candy and popcorn and soda. We do all kind of things. But I go into that weekend most weeks on empty because on Monday after I fill up my glycogen tank, right? What's up, Daniel? On Monday after I fill up my glycogen tank, I'll bust my ass on Monday working out. Now, that's why working out is important. That's why getting strong and getting fit is important. Not only does it help you build muscle so you look good in your, in your clothes eventually once the body fat layers go away, but it helps you, the better shape you're in, the better you can push and burn through glycogen, right? That's why I say just being in the gym ain't, ain't good enough. You go to the gym and you're just there and you're sweating, but you're not burning through glycogen, then you might as well stay in bed. Right? If you're not building muscle, I always say there's, there, there's three things we must do at every workout. That's why I've combined you know, my workouts into a fast-paced uh, anaerobic, anaerobic, because every workout I do must ac accomplish three things. Number one, got to build muscle. Right? That's your best long-term asset toward, toward burning through glycogen regularly and quickly. Number two, I want to try to make sure that I, I expand my metabolic window. So it's got to be high intense. It's got to be at, at a high, high rate, high intensity, hit workouts that put your body into an oxygen deprivation state. That means when I'm done working out, my body's recovering for another 90 minutes to two hours. So now my window of working out, uh, my, sorry, my window of, of metabolic burn is larger than just the one hour I worked out. Now it's two hours or two and a half hours, right? So I'm trying to, number one, build muscle for the long-term asset of burning through glycogen. Number two, I'm trying to make sure that I expand, expand my metabolic window by training hard. That's why I don't bullshit. People come to my, my workouts, they know I'm not there to play. And people who have known me for years who are on Facebook from, from middle school, high school, college, I don't play. If I'm training and, and you're with me, we're not there to play. I'm there to get better. So we can talk afterwards, we can go have lunch somewhere later, have a, you know, whatever. But when I'm training, I'm trying to get stuff done. So I'm trying to build muscle. I'm trying to burn through glycogen. And then the last part of it, I'm sorry, expand the window. The last part of it is we're trying to burn through glycogen, right, to put our body in a state of fat burning. The biggest misconception, or one of the biggest, in, in exercise and training is that you build muscle working out or that you burn fat working out. Neither of those are true. You don't burn fat working out. You set your body up for fat burning. By working out. If you are already free and clear of all your glycogen, then you can burn body fat. But when you do that, you, you want to do it in a steady state cardio 
state, not in not in high intensity. So when you're busting your butt and riding the cycle and, and, and doing burpees like I do, you're not burning body fat. You're putting your body in position to burn body fat. So my typical week on a Monday, it comes after having some enjoyment. It comes after filling up my G tank a little bit, sometimes a lot of it. I, you know, it's not, it's not rare for me to gain four or five pounds in two days over a weekend, right? But I know it's water and glycogen, so I don't stress about it. I also know that my strategy and my schedule dictates that by Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm back to zero and burning body fat, right? So on Monday, I come in, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm full into it. I'm doing, I'm doing exercises that I know use fuel, right? That, that, and it's not running. It's not cardio, cardio. Cardio can burn fuel, but not at an efficient rate like people believe. Burning through fuel requires the use of multi-joints, multi-muscle movements, and put your body in a state of, of almost panic. Right, so box jumps, burpees, deadlifts, squats, power, power pulls, bench presses, things that use large muscle groups that contract many muscles and make you explosive, make you explode. That makes your body produce a lot of fuel quickly, right, at a high rate. So jogging on a treadmill or doing a Stairmaster, all those things can burn rate, right, but it takes a long, long, long time to burn the equivalent what you would burn if you just did something more aggressive, right? The problem is most people aren't in good enough shape to do that. So part of, of, my, of my strategy and why, and why it works is I've spent a long time in my life getting ready for this. So now I have the ability fitness-wise to burn through fuel quickly because because I've been working toward this, not afraid to, to get tired, not afraid to break down muscle tissue and be a little sore and be a little hurt. I've done that. So now my body is, is positioned to do things more effectively. That's why I harp on people. Make sure you keep training. Make sure you keep getting better. Get your wind better. Get your muscles stronger so that you can burn through fuel quickly and allow yourself the margin of error to go have fun. Right? If you're not working out and getting better, then when you go have fun at Tahoe or go away for your anniversary, you don't have the ability to burn through it quickly. Right? And not eating carbs is not going to be enough for you because the rate at which your body via metabolism is going to burn through that glycogen by itself is not going to be high enough. It might take you a week to empty out your G-tank that way. Right? Who's going to do that? Right? That's, that's hard to do. So that's my strategy. I know going into a weekend that I can have some fun because by Monday and Tuesday when I do my workouts, I'm going to be rid of all that glycogen, right, in my body. I'm going to reduce my, my glucose consumption. Hey, Janice, I'm going to reduce my glucose consumption dramatically, maybe completely. I'll supplement that with some ketones, giving my body fuel so that I never, ever, ever go through all the, all the uh, ill effects of carbohydrate withdrawal, of glucose withdrawal, no headaches, no, no, no hunger pains, none of that. So I'll do that typically Monday or Tuesday, and then I'm, I'm back on track by Wednesday, right? So that now, and then Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, I'm watching my G-Tank, my glucose intake, I'm working out, I'm making sure that I go into the weekend as, as close to empty on my G-Tank as possible. So now I can enjoy myself. Right? If I don't do that, if I go into the weekend and have not done my work during the week, have not done my homework, have not done the steps necessary to enjoy my weekend, then guess what, guys? I cannot have as much fun as I would like to on the weekend. I mean, I can, but I'm going to get fat. I'm going to gain body fat. It's a fact. If I go into the weekend, I'm, I'm 178 or 179 or 180, right, when my G-Tank is full, I can't go to the movies and have popcorn and soda. I mean, I can. I'm going to get fatter. Right? I can't go to uh, have, have beers and, and pretzels or whatever and, and pizza with my buddies because I'm going to gain fat. Right? I have to go into that scenario with my, with my G tank close to empty right? or be okay with gaining body fat. That's how the body works, guys. It's, it's not like I'm being mean or, 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 or unfair. That's how the body works. So because our, our ancestors never had the opportunity to do something like that. You, were, you weren't going to go somewhere already full and then eat more. Right? You weren't going to go kill a boar uh, and, and eat it. And then you know, while, you're, while you're traveling east or west with your, with your village, you find another boar and you're going to eat it anyway, even though you're already full. Right? We would never do that. So we're not designed to continue fueling our body with fuel that we're not using and don't need. So when that happens, our bodies respond 
in the in the way it's designed to respond very predictably you gain body fat so the only way to prevent fat gaining on the weekends is to be smart about it it's the only way right should you work out on a saturday morning i think you should right most people um uh, abhor hate weekend workouts and so and so what happens is if you just just do the math right you're trying to get better you're trying to lose weight you're trying to look better uh, and feel better yet two out of seven days you're taken out of the equation already so to win the week right statistically to win the week four days out of the week you know best of seven series like in basketball right you already lost two so i can't work out saturday coach i want to rest long week at work okay and sunday is our day of of church and rest okay that's two days gone right so now we're, now we've lost game one and game two we have to win four out of five to win the series and who does that none of you guys do that very few of you guys do that but yet you want to get better you want to make you want to make progress. You want to lose weight. You want to get fit. You want a six pack. You want nice muscles. But yet you want to go into a series down 0-2 every week. It doesn't work that way, guys. So I suggest you you work harder during the week. Obviously, you train a little bit. You know, again, if you guys want to call into my classes, right? I have I have a half off rate for all my virtual stuff. So every person on this on this call can call into my classes every morning, 6 a.m., 7 a.m. Those are the best two classes to join, right? Call in via Zoom app we use, okay? So you got to do that. You got to get rid of someone like glycogen. You can't just not eat. Your body is in a position right now, most of you, where you have too much body fat and metabolism is too low for your body to churn out glycogen fast enough for you to make any, any headway. And if you do, it's going to be a long period of time. And it's going to be, you know, you of, of having no carbs and going through all this crazy dieting. I never diet. All this crazy ass dieting and, and having no carbs while your friends have pizza, having no carbs while your friends have soda and donuts and beer, all these things. And you, it's horrible, right? So you have to train through some of that glycogen, right? And if, if you're going to train through it, do it in an efficient manner. Do it for, in two ways. Do it with explosive moves that make your body churn energy quickly. Like vehicles. If you go to, you know, in a vehicle and you drive fast, Right, and you're and you're powerful, and and, and your vehicle's heavy. You're gonna burn more burn, burn more fuel. You want that. You don't want to be on Highway Five with a Prius going slow. Right, that's the analogy of cardio versus high intensity strength training. Okay, you want to make your body use up fuel quickly. Right, muscle fuel, you know, cardiovascular fuel, all those things. So you have to do that to help your body to make your body burn through fuel. Right, and then in the weekend. If you what's up, Kelvin? If you come down low enough, now the weekend is not as scary, right? But you can't be selfish. You can't enjoy every minute of every day, the whole week, and expect to get better. Now, I'm not saying that you have to want to be fit. I'm not saying that. I got plenty of friends in my life who who will just let enjoy life, right? I love them to death, all of them, right? But what I'm saying is, if you want to be fit, right, then you have to understand how the body works. If the body works that way, you can't be selfish. Right? I use an analogy of relationships. You know, you have you have a, a, a relationship with your wife or, or your husband, a relationship with your children and your friends that's built on reciprocity, about giving and taking, right? And and your body is the same way. Like you can't you can't expect your body to respond when it's always about you. Right? I know you enjoy sitting back and kicking back and watching television. I know you enjoy hamburger and fries and beer for your buddies and all those things. I know that. Your body needs other things. Right? So if it's always about what you want. That's selfish. Right? So people say, you know, oh, Bobby, you don't have to have any fun. I have fun. I just give my body what it needs sometimes. Right? It's not always about what I need about fun and sleeping in and having pizza and having soda and having what I enjoy, about, about Bobby enjoying every moment of every day. I understand that if I, if I want to look good, it's give and take. And my wife, like she, you know, when I first met her, she loved Lifetime, Lifetime movies. I love football. Kevin knows this. I love watching football. So when we met, it was give and take. I couldn't sit there the whole weekend and make her watch football and expect her to stay around with me for, for 20 years. Right, and she couldn't expect me to sit there and watch boring Lifetime movies the whole time. Now I love Lifetime, right? But it was give and take. So I knew if I want her to sit there and watch and watch football with me on Sunday, guess what? On Saturday, we're watching Lifetime movies, right? If she wanted me to watch Lifetime with her on Saturday, guess what? Sunday, 
That's all day football, right? So if you're going out with your buddies on, on, on Saturday night, yeah, I guarantee you better not tell your wife or girlfriend that you're going out with, with, with your buddies Friday night because it won't last very long. So the same is true with your body, guys. Right? If you know you're going to a party on Saturday night or you know you have a holiday you know, party on Friday night, you can't spend the whole week not working out and, and going to lunch and eating, eating candy from the candy dish at your desk all day. You can't do that. It's selfish. It's about you. It's selfish. So tell your body, look, I'm going I'm to I'm do harm to you. <laughs> I'm going to do harm to you on Saturday. I know that. But guess what? I'm going to work out Monday. I'm going to fast on Monday and Tuesday. I'm going to take ketones and reduce my glucose intake Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, I'm going to do it. Whatever it is. Tell your body, I got your back. Right? I'm going to do this to you on Saturday night, Sunday morning, whatever it is. But during the week, I got your back. Right? Simple as that. And that's what I do. Right? I have fun every weekend. Right? I, I eat, I eat, I enjoy myself, I eat, now, now, I don't drink beer, I don't drink, I don't drink, so that saves me some, but I eat what I want to eat, I eat pizza, I eat cookies, I eat what I want to eat, but I don't spend the rest of the week doing the same thing, right, I know, I've, I've told my, 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 my body that I'm going somewhere, I'm going to Vegas, you know, using a metaphor, analogy, on the weekend, so I know all, all week I got to spend time with you, right, I got to hang out with you, and be with you, right, and be kind to you, if I'm leaving, Right, so it's part of it is just not being selfish. Part of it is understanding how the body works, which I told you how it works, and and part of it is 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 telling yourself what you really want. Right, we all want to eat. Like my friends tell me all the time, I can't do what you do, Bobby. I like food too much. I like food a lot, just like your ass likes food a lot. And if you guys know me, I like to eat. Right, I grew up eating. I, I grew up trying to get big. Right? Big, big Raymond will tell you, I grew up trying to be big. <clears throat> so I set my alarm at night to eat when I was in college. You know, cereal, cookies, potatoes, ice cream, whatever it was. So I enjoy eating too. The difference is I like to look good. I like showing my abs to people at 46 still. Right? I like that as much as I like hamburger and fries. I like that. I like somebody telling me my arms look good as much as I like sitting down watching television. Right? I like being able to do a box jump that a 25-year-old can do as much as I enjoy sleeping in. I like to sleep in, too. I, I like hitting the snooze bar, too. But I like this stuff as much. So if, if you're willing to accept liking that more, liking drinking more, liking partying more, than being able to go to the beach and not wear a T-shirt, then, you, then you'll win this, 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 this challenge. Right? If you like eating more, then you like feeling good about your body, then you won't lose. And I'm not mad at you either way. There's no right or wrong. There's no good or bad. It is what it is, right? But I enjoy that part of it as much as I enjoy eating. I enjoy my son telling me one of his friends told me his dad was ripped as much as I enjoy eating pizza, right? I enjoy my daughter's friends, her male friends, looking at me a little different, not knowing if I can beat them up as much as I enjoy Sleeping in, right, or relaxing, right? I enjoy my wife still finding me attractive as much as I enjoy all the other things. So, and then I take that one step further and I say, you know what? I'm not going to be selfish to my body, right? My body needs me to eat well. My body needs me to train. My body needs exactly what our ancestors needed, right? When this is all new... Our ancestors had no choice. They had to work out. You had to go down to the river to get your water. You had to carry your baby around. You had to go hunt and gather your food. You had to do that. Right? So I'm just doing what, what any man, any, any, any of my ancestor males would have done. Work out every day, just about. Be smart about what I eat and not be selfish about it. And not look at food as just pleasure all the time. So that's how I do it, guys. I go into the weekend I have a plan every single week, every week. If, I, if I'm going somewhere for lunch, I plan around it. If I have a lunch meeting or I'm going to the movies or my daughter's games on a Wednesday and I might have candy, I plan around it, right? I don't go into any of those scenarios with the, with the full G tank, right? If I have to work out beforehand, I do that. If I have to fast all day before that, I do that. If I have to take ketones, a ketone supplement, the Keto OS, which I swear by, to help me not be hungry, I do that. I do whatever I have to do 
to make sure I got my bodies back. Right? I got my bodies back. It, 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 it's there for me, hopefully forever. Right? I got to do stuff to, 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 to show my body that I'm not just selfish, that I love it, that I care about it. And it's not about me all the time. All right? So in this holiday season, guys, just keep that in mind. Right? You know when that party's coming up. You know when you're going to be susceptible to temptation, to eating, to candy, to whatever it is. Plan accordingly. Right? Pick and choose. If you want to have fun at that office party Saturday night to all my South Bay people, then make sure you spend some time taking care of your body Saturday morning. Fasting, working out, and go into the party with a chance of not storing body fat. All right? So I went in circles, guys. I went for 40 minutes. And for a guy who's, who's nervous about talking, that's a long time. Uh, but, you know, it's, it, it's, it's simple, guys. It's simple. You know, I, I tell my boot campers, I'm never, ever, ever again in my life going to store body fat unless something happens to me, unless I get into an accident or something happens to me because I understand how it works. And I'll continue to eat what I want, right? I don't, I don't diet. Um, I fast. I use a, a ketone supplement that is, you know, by and far uh, the best tool in my toolbox, um, if you want, if you want info on that, I'd be happy to, to help you understand how, how ketogenic diets work, how I avoid a ketogenic diet, but apply some principles from it and use a supplement to make it easy. Very simple. Uh, but more than that, I have a plan for every week. I have a plan going into every weekend. I have a plan going into every, uh, event, life event. That's fun. Um, and I, I think about it in terms of, of not being selfish. The same way I think about my, my kids, my wife, my friends, uh, my family. Um, it's a relationship with my body, and I have to be reciprocal and give and take and do things that my body needs so that it will always be there for me when I need it to be, when I, when I need to be healthy, when I need to be strong, when I need to feel good about how I look. All right? So... Sorry it was so long, guys. I'll get better. I can I condense it, but I know a lot about about this stuff. I've been at it since I was 15. You know, I, I've been I've been training uh, consistently. I haven't missed four days in a row since August 15th, 1990. All my boot campers can recite that. That's a true statement. I haven't missed more than four days of training uh, uh, without training or doing some form of exercise since 1990, August 15th. And so I've been at it for a long time, guys, and I've and I've had I've had ebb and flows. I've learned, I've read, I've tried just about anything, and so now I think I have the formula that is the most simple to understand, and the most helpful and efficient to help you guys avoid gaining fat and continue to build lean muscle, even on the weekends. All right, guys. Excuse me. So enjoy yourselves. Uh, if you have questions, please ping me. Uh, I'm gonna continue doing these uh, these live events. And, um, you know, in, 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 the, in the notes, in the comments, please leave questions and I'll try to answer those in, in um, later episodes of this live FaceTime or live Facebook. All right, guys, have a great weekend. Happy holidays. I will talk to you all soon. Love you guys. Bye-bye.